Okay, so it's time to do another prospect update here on my brother, Gianni Fairbrother. This guy has been having a good year and plays with a lot of heart, and I'm pretty confident he's going to be a lock for Lavelle next season. But first, before we nosedive into this... If you guys are a fan of the Habs or just misery in general, please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy if you guys would tag along for the ride. Now, Gianni, or as I like to call him, Little Gianni, is actually a 6 foot 1 defenseman listed at 209 pounds right now soaking wet, you hear me? And he was drafted in the third round of the 2019 draft. And taking a look at his stats here, you can see while he do has some decent offensive numbers there ain't nothing too flashy here and offense isn't really this guy's game however Fairbrother is a stay at home shut down quality defenseman he makes smart decisions at his own end of the rink and he's been trying to master this trade and hey he's been pretty successful so far I've watched quite a few highlights of this guy whenever I can and uh by the way if anybody is looking for a great spot to check out some had prospect highlights there is a youtuber that goes by the name of Daniel Lin that is also his channel name I'm gonna leave his link in the description of this video and he does a fantastic job at showing all kinds of highlights that many of us have fans miss out on he shows the Laval highlights and highlights to junior games that some of our prospects are involved in so yeah definitely check that out if you're interested in this kind of thing now our brother fair brother one thing I've noticed about this kid since he's been drafted is he plays such a poised game. He's like a little pit bull out there. The guy is chippy, he hits, he clears the front of the net, and he is absolutely not afraid to take on anybody out there. The guy has had lots of fights, and he knows how to handle himself pretty well. You know, if you check out YouTube, he's also gone up against some pretty big opponents down there, sticking up for his old chaps and whatnot. Yeah. Fair brother, he's a warrior, and we will probably get to see some more of this guy next season as he is likely to be a staple in the Laval Rocket defense pairings. So, with my thoughts out of the way, here is a scouting report that was done on Fair Brother before the Habs had actually drafted him. It goes on to say, quote, Fair Brother is a strong skater with solid overall mobility. His skating allows him to jump in on the rush, but most importantly, it allows him to defend very well off the rush against speedy opponents. He is not an extremely flashy player, but he makes the simple plays to keep the puck moving forward while limiting turnovers. This past season, the Silver Tips counted on Fairbrother in all situations, as the young defenseman played on the penalty kill and saw some time on the team's second power play unit. As much as the NHL is trending more towards pure skill and offense, it should be noted that Fairbrother is not afraid to drop the gloves and plays a physical game. So yeah, that was some nice praise for the kid at the time and it's safe to say that he has exceeded all expectations now let's take a look at a more recent news article that was written about Fairbrother from an eyes on the prize article they would say quote Fairbrother's development is moving right along on that path to become that shut down presence. He is on track for seamless integration into the Lavelle Rocket system when he comes over for good, which should be next year considering he has already signed his professional contract. With size, mobility, awareness, and aggressiveness, Fairbrother will be as plug and play as it gets for Lavelle next season. A valuable asset in Joel Bouchard's defense. So, that's all I got. Now, if any of you guys have watched this guy play throughout the season, please leave a comment below. Let us know how you thought this guy has played. And that does it for this prospect update. And again, I'm not saying the guy is going to be a top four NHL defenseman by no stretch of the imagination. But I'm merely just giving an update on a guy that may be overlooked in the Habs organization. That's it for this video and have yourselves a good day.